I'm sitting on a bench in the old church of Notre Dame de Brouillet, a place where John Baptist de La Salle would have come as a boy and spent time with his maternal grandfather, Jean Moé de Brouillet, who was the seigneur, or we'd say the lord of the manor, here in Brouillet and the surrounding villages. It was a very peaceful place, and we know that Jean Moé was a great benefactor of this church. Indeed, the plaque on the wall behind us tells us that he was a devoted member of this little church, that he contributed to its upkeep, and that upon his death, his heart was taken and buried on the right side of the altar, while his body was buried back in the church of St. Hilaire at Reims, along with the other Moe ancestors. Indeed, the plaque reminds us also that John Moe's own son subsequently was buried in the church of St. Hilaire. This little countryside episode reminds us that de La Salle's boyhood, in this sense, is very much like that of many of us, taking time in the countryside, undoubtedly showing interest in the various farm pursuits that went on, without knowing the great destiny that God had in mind. This is just some years before he's to go off to study, and then later to receive that message from Adrian Niel, which was to change his whole life.